Hi Wax Friends, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. Coming to you with my empties for the past, I don't know, seven, eight days or so. This is mostly going to be Scentsy. Um, I know I did shorts for a lot of the Scentsy Bring Back My Bars and the Mardi Gras collection, but I want to go over them again because I did some other things with them and my views are just constantly changing on these bars. So um, it is a very cold, kind of a windy day here in central Illinois. So we are just um, Brad's in the basement watching uh, football or whatever sport is on the TV. And I'm upstairs just messing around with some chili in the crock pot. So it's going to be a good day. So I'm going to start off with the um, kind of oddball stuff. I took out a Caramel Apple Craze scent circle out of my car. I had this in there with two scent packs of Autumn Road Trip, like under my seats, and it, and it did really good. I mean, that's a lot to have in your, your car at one time, but I don't get a whole lot from these, so I needed the scent packs to go along. But I um, put this car freshener from the Candleberry Company in its place and why does this not tell me oh it is it is pumpkin pecan waffles pumpkin praline waffles so i've got this going in there i stuck this in there just last night i haven't been in my car since i put it in so i have to let you know when it's done put a frozen lake wallflower in presley's room this is lavender leaves cruel eucalyptus and juniper berries i love frozen lake and she really likes it in there um, let's start with some random wax. I'll do my vendor wax first because really there's only a couple things. In the round robin, I picked up Pumpkin Cheesecake Delight. Now this is from Enchanted Scent Memories. And um, this is supposed to be fresh pumpkin cheesecake and a hint of red apples. Now I didn't love the scent on cold, but this was a brand or a vendor that I'd never tried before, so I wanted to give them a try. Immediately, when I smell this, I get the same kind of waxy smell that I get from Sassy Wax Melts, which I have heard that formula's changed. So this was in the past. It, this was from, you know, over a year ago to two years ago when I last purchased from Sassy Wax Melts. Um, I put this in the back bathroom in a Julianne warmer. You know, it, it, it heats up nicely. I really don't get any of these notes. Um, all I get is that really, that really weird kind of just smell of the wax. And so I don't know anything else about this company. Um, I don't really hear anybody talking about this company. I don't even know if they're still in business. So I will probably send this my mom's way and see if she can get anything out of it. Because some people don't get that that waxy note, even from Sassy Wax Melt. So that's that's just on me. So, you know, I always encourage everyone to, to make their own decisions. Um, the next thing that I did, I did this in my open concept. I had from the round robin, two little um, round like flower shapes in campfire banana bread. And I took that and I mixed it with a rose from Swanky and Palo Santo and Fireside. I thought that would go good together. You know, I could mix Palo with anything. And then we had the campfire from the banana and the Fireside I thought would really go together. So I will say I didn't get any banana bread anywhere, but it was probably because of what I mixed this with. Um, this was so freaking strong. Okay, so um, let's see if I can read my notes. I said Palo is kind of cologne-y. Um, I had to turn off some of the warmers because Brad um, kept saying that he smelled perfume. You know, he and it was strong. I mean, I had it going all over my open concept, so it was really strong. So I turned off, you know, two or three of the warmers, and then I turned everything back on the second day. And it went a whole second day. This was amazing. This the Palo is a little bit is a little bit perfumey. You do kind of get a you know a, a perfumey cologne type note. The Fireside is so strong. This I will definitely get more of this. 
You could mix this with just about anything. And I think it just really over overpowered this banana bread blend. But that was a great two days. I loved it. I wouldn't have had to turn off any of the warmers, but gotta make Brad happy too. So, okay, let's get into some of these Bearding Back My Bars. And like I said, almost all of these, it's gonna be the second time hearing from me on these if you watch the shorts. The first one we'll talk about is Twilight. Okay, and I've got my list here because I didn't put the notes in the bars. So, Twilight says, a lovely, sophisticated scent infused with soft, romantic florals and ocean air. I did two cubes in Katie's room um, to me this was so floral and it was very rose to me. I got a lot of rose in this. Now I will say this had been in for several hours and my other daughter came home and I said, hey, go in your sister's bedroom, open the door and tell me what you think. She liked it. She said, it's kind of, what did she call it? Soothing, is that what she said? It's kind of soothing. I said, well, do you get floral? And she's like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's very floral. It performed really good, just the two cubes in there. I don't think, I don't think that I'm gonna melt any more of this. I think I'm gonna send this my mom's way or see if some friends want some of this. I just, I really disliked it. My nose is not liking rose these days. That could change, you know, in six months. I don't know, but this one, Twilight, is not, I, I, can, I can honestly say I just, I didn't like it. Okay, so the next one, Crazy Coconut. This one is kind of funny, kind of interesting story. So this says coconut milk, mixed fruit, and vanilla ice cream. And I mixed, I had two cubes of this going in the girls' bathroom back there. I get tanning salon. That is exactly where I am transported to every time I take a whiff of this. It's not um, coconut sunscreen, coconut on the beach. It's tanning salon, tanning lotion. And I've spent a lot of time in tanning salons, so they all pretty much smell like this to me. I didn't mind this. I, I'm not gonna say it was one of my favorites. I mean, this bar will last forever. I probably could have gone away with one cube in that bathroom. Brad did not like this at all. He said, this might be the worst smelling wax you've ever had going in this house. He did not like it one bit. And he actually went in and turned the warmer off. So this definitely will not be any kind of repurchase for me. Uh, if I do it again, I might try it again down the road, maybe one cube in that bathroom just to see you know, if it still has the same effect on him. To me, in a bathroom, this was a great, strong performer with two cubes. Like I said, you could probably get away with one in a small bathroom. I don't know what it would do in an open concept. I didn't even go that far to try it out anywhere else just because I knew he disliked it so much. So, there's that. Okay, peony petals. Now, peony petals is described as peony and rose petals dance on a soft breeze. This one, I did two cubes in Katie's bedroom as well. That's the same bedroom I did the Twilight in. Um, again, I get the rose, but I like this one more than the Twilight. The Twilight, I'm not even gonna mess with again. I'm gonna hold on to this bar. I'm thinking about maybe mixing this with some sugar cookie um, or maybe vanilla cream butter what is it called? Vanilla buttercream, vanilla, vanilla bean buttercream. Maybe to get like a pink petal tea cake type vibe. Because even though I do get a little rose in this one, I, I don't, I don't mind this one as much. It's, it's different. I get, I get more of the, the peony, I think, with a little bit of a rose. So I'm going to hold on to this one and do some mixing with this one down the, down the line. Okay, so I'm gonna keep those. And you know, I thought that was a good performer. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I had the doors to these bedrooms shut when I was testing these scents. Um, Lana Sarah, 
This one says, taste the sweet nectar from a honeysuckle trumpet as warm amber and patchouli hover over a spring garden. Okay, for me, this was all honeysuckle. This one was on the light end. I didn't get any patchouli on warm. I can't, I would never even pick out amber in this one. To me, this was just a light honeysuckle floral. This one won't be a repurchase. I didn't dislike this. It was just on the light side and just not something I need more of. This would strictly be a bedroom bathroom scent for me. It, it was pretty. You know, I'm not gonna say this smells bad. It was pretty. It was one of the lighter, um, probably the second lightest of the Bring Back My Bars. But I'm gonna keep this one and um, down the line, I'll, I'll try it again. Okay, lots of lavender. All right, this one says, a soothing, calming scent blend with lavender and chamomile. Okay, so the first time I warmed this, I've, I've done the whole bar now. The first time I did this, I did three cubes in Courtney's bedroom. So I did two in one warmer, one in another. Um, this is, I think this is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful lavender scent. I must be getting a lot of the chamomile because it doesn't smell like any lavender blend that I've ever had. This is super light, unfortunately. Um, I wanted to finish it. I hate having unemptied, you know, half empty Scentsy clams. So I put um, five cubes of this in my bedroom. That was the rest of the bar. So I did two, I don't know how I did it, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I did, um, I had them just spread all over my bedroom and in the warmer in the bathroom. And again, it's just a beautiful, super, super light chamomile lavender scent. If you, if you like lighter scents and you like those scent notes, I think you would love this. I think it's beautiful. It's just too light. I'm not gonna get any more of this, but it is lovely. Um, okay, uh, Confetti Showers. Now this is from the Mardi Gras collection. This is sparkling citrus, black currant, and a hint of peach. I like this. I do like this one. I did three cubes in Courtney's bedroom. Um, it was strong. Um, lots of citrus. I, I could even go grapefruit. Um, I don't get the black currant, or at least the black currant as I know black currant to smell like. Maybe get a little of the peach, but lots of citrus. And I would say grapefruit. If I didn't have the scent notes, I would say there was grapefruit in this. This was a great performer. I'll probably finish this up maybe in my bedroom. I really liked that one. Street Parade. This is another from the Mardi Gras collection. Uh, blood orange, juicy plum, and golden pineapple. So I first melted this in so i must have done two cubes in katie's bedroom i remember now two cubes um this was on the the low medium side light medium side in there this is the one that i get i definitely get the pineapple in this one and maybe that's why it's not super super strong and a little bit of plum. I don't know how much blood orange I would pick out, but I have this going today. I did six cubes of this in um, my bedroom today, and it smells really nice in there. I like it better today in my bedroom than I did when I just had the two cubes in Katie's bedroom. It's, it's a fun scent. I mean, it's good. It's not something I need any more of. Definitely won't be a club bar, and I don't think that I would purchase any more of these. You know, you say that, and then sometimes since he has those flash sales, and these bars are a buck ninety, and you're like, well, you know, I liked it enough. It was, but I, I don't think I'm not going to be on the lookout for this one. 
Okay, cranberry mango. This is the Bring Back My Bar, and cranberry mango is a melange of tropical mango, cozy cranberry, and spicy pineapple. I did this one in my bedroom. I did three cubes, and this performed great. I, I really liked this. I really like cranberry and wax. I do get that spicy pineapple in this, definitely. Do I need more of this? I don't need any more of this. Um, so I'm just gonna finish it up. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna mix this with something. Thought about trying to mix it maybe with some bakery to see if it gave it a different direction. Uh, Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. Another bring back my bar. It says it's fizzy orange and black currant with plum blossom and sugared raspberry. Yes, I warmed this in my bedroom, only three cubes. Um, it was a solid medium performer, leaned really, really grape. Yeah, to me this leans grape and I get the tiniest touch of floral with this. Nothing, nothing, not a strong floral, but just the tiniest touch. I don't know if that's coming from, you know, the bl plum blossom. I don't even, I don't know that this is super fizzy either. I think it might be cool to mix this with a fizzy pop or a ginger ale. I think that would be really good. I can see why people like this. I don't need any more of this, but I'll be, I'll enjoy finishing it. Probably do it in my bedroom again is what I'll do. Let's see here. Okay. Lavender Vanilla from the Bring Back My Bar collection. This bar is, where is it? Relaxing mix of hillside lavender, vanilla beans, orange zest, and patchouli. One cube, y'all. One cube in the girls' bathroom back there. And this was so super strong. I do really like this. It's lavender and vanilla. I don't get patchouli. I don't understand all these bars with patchouli in at this time. Orange zest. I would never pull out orange zest if I didn't have it in the scent notes, but there might be a sharpness mixed in here that is coming from the zest. I don't know. This was a 10 out of 10 performer. So super strong. I'll probably do this in my bedroom. I think two cubes in my bedroom bath would be enough. So this will last me quite a while. Not looking to purchase any more of this one either. Twitterpated. This one I really liked. I really did. Um, Twitterpated says spring is in the air. It's sun-kissed Meyer lemon, mountain dewdrops, and wild mo moss. Yeah, this to me is very green. I did two cubes in the back bathroom. Um, it was super strong. After two hours, turn the warmer to low. So it was in the Julianne warmer, so I start everything on high. I ended up turning it down to low. Um, and I even turned it back on high the second day. And the second day is when Courtney was here and she went and she smelled the twilight and kind of like it. She loved this on the second day. I think this is feminine. I think it's very green. It's very dewy and mossy. Um, lemon, maybe a tad, knowing that they're in the scent notes and I'm looking for it. Yeah, I do kind of get a little bit of the lemon, but, um, yeah, I'm happy to have that. I could probably do one cube in that bathroom, probably two cubes in my bedroom bath. I mean, it, it was, it was, it worked really good. This was in the Julianne warmer though, that gets really hot. So, uh, not a repurchase, but I thought it was pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do these two together because I warmed them together. The Bananas Bar, which is a, it's described as coconut milk, island vanilla, and banana, tropical banana, reminiscent of a banana taffy. It's exactly what it is. And then the Strawberry Sweetie, which says a fruity delight of juicy strawberries sprinkled with sugar. I had these two mixed together in my bedroom, I believe. Did I put any notes on these? I did not. Um, I really liked this. 
um, a lot. This was a really fun mix. The strawberry is not my favorite kind of strawberry. It's a little chapsticky. It's very artificial. It's just not a Maggie strawberry. So I will not repurchase any more of this. The bananas was exactly what it said. It's a taffy banana. It's a fun candied banana. I could see how um, a kid or a child could like this. I actually liked it. I think I'm going to get you know, one or two more bars, maybe when it comes out, just to have. Maybe to mix with some other fruity scents that I have. And I'll probably, I'll probably melt these together again. Worked out really good, so. Just didn't care very much for the strawberry. It's not my type of strawberry. Okay, now's where things get a little difficult with some of these others. So let's start off with Simply Patchouli, okay? Simply patchouli is exactly what it says. It's just simply patchouli. I really like this patchouli on cold. I think it's really kind of a green patchouli. It's not a dirty, heady patchouli. So I really like this. And I was gonna melt it by itself. And then I thought, you never melt patchouli by itself. I don't do that. I always melt patchouli in a blend. So first blend, I took the patchouli and I was so scared that it was going to be really strong and I thought Brad is going to hate this because it's going to be so super strong right so I just did I pulled out some Palo Santo now I've got some Palo Santo here from Destination Wax and I have Campfire Marshmallow from Rose Girl okay so I took probably probably just three cubes of this and I put it all in my open concept with the Palo from Destination Wax and the Campfire Marshmallow. So this patchouli wasn't overly strong. It was a solid, probably medium performer type patchouli. Loved it mixed with the Campfire Marshmallow. The Palo from Destination Wax mixed with the patchouli, this overtook the whole blend. This Palo did. This is says it is a Bath and Body Works type um, patchouli. It's described as warm and mellow, Palo Santo wood, amber, and musk. I think it leans body care. I like it, but it really took over the blend, and even Brad said he smelled perfume a lot with this. I was like, okay, so I'm going to try something different with it the next day. So day two, I took the rest of the bar, Mixed it with some more Campfire Marshmallow. I love Rose Girl's Campfire Marshmallow. And I mixed it with some Zucchini Bread from L3. This was my favorite. I loved it mixed with the Zucchini Bread. So I started this early in the morning, seven o'clock. I left at 10 probably to go shopping in Springfield. Got home probably about 4.30. It was still banging away in my open concept. I love that blend. Do I need patchouli all by itself when I'm always gonna mix it in a blend anyway? I don't know. I haven't made up my mind if I'm gonna grab another bar or two. I'm not gonna put it in my club, but um, I might grab a couple more. We'll see. Okay, so then I started working on some of these Bring Back My Bars that are more bakery scents. Caramel Sugar Cone. Caramel Sugar Cone is, and I kind of cut off, it's gooey caramel, vanilla, sugar cone, and malt, right? Okay, so the first time I said, why do I get an apple note? Yeah, so I get a caramel apple vibe from this one. I can't remember, and I didn't write it down. Why didn't I write it down? I think I melted this in my office the first time and probably said, you know, that it was okay, performer, that I get just a caramel apple note. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about that one. It it didn't it didn't overwhelm it over it didn't make me all gaga. I don't know the word I'm looking for. But I liked it better than this one. <laughs> this is the toasted caramel sugar, which is this one is supposed to be warm milk with caramelized sugar and toffee swirled together with sweet vanilla musk. Okay. 
this one I did in my office two cubes and then I did two cubes in the girls bathroom didn't think it was uh, super strong but worked out of the room came back in it was nice oh okay yeah so I had this in my office and you know when you're in a room constantly with a fragrance especially if it's not super strong sometimes you don't notice it but when I did notice that when I left the room and came back in I could smell it but the scent didn't thrill me both of these scents would be scents that I considered mixer type scents and it's like, how many mixture scents do I need? I, I don't know. Neither one of them were horrible. And I think I liked the caramel sugar cone better than the toasted caramel sugar. Then I did toasted apple butter, which is creamy butter blended with ripe apples accented with rich spices. This one was definitely stronger than the, the other two. I did four cubes in two warmers in my office. Uh, it was super strong and I did end up shutting off one warmer and letting and then turn it back on later in the evening because it was it was strong So Obviously I had some cubes left of all of these so I took all three of these bars I mixed them all together in my open concept the next day and I loved it it was warm and inviting and not overpowering and just smelled it just smelled homey and good and and bakery so i'm going to be honest with you at this point in my life i don't know if i'm going to get any more of these i might and i might not because like i said this one could stand alone the toasted apple butter could stand alone the other two would definitely be mixers i liked all three of these mixed together but am i gonna buy these three bars just to mix together. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll see what January brings. I don't know. Okay. Now let's do, let's do vanilla walnut. Bring back my bar vanilla walnut. This is, okay, now you find it. A warm fragrance with roasted walnut and sweet vanilla bean. I mix, I did this in Katie's room first. Two cubes, I believe, in one warmer. Um, I had to do this somewhere else as well, but I don't remember. Um, okay, I like the walnut in this. I don't know that I like the vanilla in this. Two cubes in her office or in her bedroom was pretty strong actually for a vanilla fragrance with the door closed. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I have this going today in my office, two cubes in each of the two warmers. It's actually doing really good. Every time I walk in there, I smell it. I pick up on the walnut and I do like the walnut note. I don't know if I like this vanilla note. To me, it doesn't smell like vanilla bean buttercream. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get any more of this. I don't think. Okay. Everything nice. I voted for this probably 50 times. Okay, I voted for this a lot. I didn't care for this on cold. Um, I said it reminded me of my veterinary's office. Something in there smart, sparked that memory. You know, it, you know when a scent takes you somewhere. Um, this is sugar and spice and everything nice. Deep caramel on swirls of butter and roasted pumpkin and glazed pecan. It's the pumpkin note. I know that's exactly what it is that's given me the off vibe. So I started off four cubes of this in my bedroom. This is a hell of a performer. It was so super strong. Um, but man, I, that pumpkin note, I just, I didn't care for it. Um, and it was just because of the pumpkin note. Brad thought it smelled a little off too. He wasn't crazy about this one either. So it was so strong that there was so much left in this for the next day. I, I couldn't just take it out. 
So the next day I mixed it with some vanilla bean buttercream and I really, really liked it. It just needed to tone down that pumpkin note for me. Um, I know some of you love this and I am so glad that I voted for it so many times so that you guys can have this because you like it so much and I'm, I'm glad you love it. For me, this is just not, it's not a winner. So I won't be getting any more of this one, um, but I'm glad that so many people love it since I voted for it so many times. Yeah. Okie dokie, let's do frosted ginger cookie. This one, chewy brown sugar cookie spiked with warming ginger and fragrant vanilla. So, first I did two cubes in my office. Um, this was really strong, just those two cubes. The ginger in this is super spicy and kind of super, spark, um, super sharp. Yeah, um, I liked this. I actually really liked this and I think my next club I can't I skip my club for December so my next club will ship in March in January I'm gonna add this to my club I don't know if it's gonna stay but I'm gonna add it and get it another bar or two just to really see how much I like this so okay so keep that on the back burner I like that then from the Mardi Gras correct uh, collection we have king cake I did two cubes of this in Katie's bedroom. I got zero out of it, nothing. And I love, love this on cold. It is a sweet crust of cinnamon and brown sugar coated with butter. I love this on cold and it is so super strong, but I got nothing in that room. So what I did today is I took the rest of this bar and mixed with the rest of this bar of the ginger cookie and I have it going through my open concept and I really like it. So I'm gonna throw the king cake in my club as well. I'm gonna grab a couple more bars and then let them sit. And by March, maybe I will know. I, I've got to, my club's gotta come down a little bit because right now it's, it's like 160 every three months and that's too much. I don't want it going over 150 every three months at all. So these two are gonna go in my club. And then we have whipped vanilla pear. This is my last one. And this one is a, luxur a luxuriant caramel glaze tops baked pear and whipped vanilla. I really liked this one. Really, really liked this one. I did four cubes of this in my office. Um, Oh yeah, and that's another thing that I did that was good with that. Okay, yeah, that's, I knew I, yeah, okay. Um, okay, I loved this in my office. It was super strong, I love that pear note. I thought it was so good. So I had four cubes of this left, so I took these four cubes the next day and mixed it with what I had left of everything nice because I only did a few cubes in my bedroom. And so it was really good. I liked it. I liked, I like the everything nice toned down with something else. It's just that, that pumpkin note that puts off something weird. I think it's like a pumpkin guts type note. And I know I've said the th same thing about some other blends that have that certain pumpkin oil or note in them. But yeah, so the whipped pear is also going to go in my club. I'll grab a couple more and maybe I should know then by April because some, some stuff's got to go. I got to get some stuff out of there because I, I am not going over the 150 mark. So some other stuff will go. So yeah, so that was my empties. So, um, you know, the spring back my bar was kind of fun. This was the first time I've ever got to do this and I enjoyed it. Although I did feel like it was monopolizing my life trying to get through these bring back my bars. And I know a lot of people um, have said that and I thought it was a lot of fun seeing everybody's ugh, got my foot asleep again seeing everybody's views on these bars because we're all so different and we all picked up on different things and you know even like I said everything nice I I voted 50 times I knew that I was gonna love that but it's okay because some of my you know close wax friends love it so I'm glad that I voted for it and brought it back for them 
So uh, thanks for stopping by in this long empties video and um, hopefully I'll be back later with um, a body care empties. So everyone have a great Sunday. Bye.